Today's job at hand is replacing the rear axle oil seals. So we've got the tire off and you can see that there is oil leaking and that is coming from the axle seal which you can see behind there it's all wet so with the tire off we're going to take the two 18 millimeter bolts that hold the caliper on and we'll get those off one here which already took off and another right there all right so to pull the axle shaft out I thought the camera was rolling, so I'm doing this behind schedule. There are four nuts that will be here, here, there, and down there that are holding that retaining plate on. Once those four are out, you'll be able to just pull the axle shaft out. Sometimes I've seen people use a slide hammer. I just had to take a little pry bar and get it out. Uh, now I am doing the brake rejuvenation spray to clean off all the ridiculous amounts of gear oil that was covering the parking brake and of course covered in the rotor hat as well. What you don't want to do is cut a groove in your axle shaft, but you know, yeah, it'll but it'll buff. <laughs> Went a little aggressive on the grinder. All right, so unfortunately I botched the end of this video. I didn't record the reassembly. 
but once you cut off the bearing, cut off the retaining ring, and you can slide everything off, you want to clean the shaft up as best you can and have that surface nice and smooth and clean, then you'll reassemble in the opposite direction with that retaining plate, the seal, the bearing, and the retaining ring. Then when you have all that together, you have to go over to a press and get all that press back on. Uh, I used, about, I think, a 20-ton shop press and just put some oil on it and send it send it back home and once it bottoms out you'll know it won't go anymore it'll it'll stop and that that's when you know it's it's good so installing it i made sure i pulled out the old bearing race out of the axle put the new one in then reassembled it and had to get the axle shaft to line up in the differential with the spline so just kind of had to work that back and forth and popped it back in um, it should seat pretty much all the way. You really shouldn't be using the nuts on the retaining plate to suck the axle in. It should go in pretty much all the way on its own. And then, you know, get those four nuts tight, put the rotor back on, caliper back on, and that job's pretty much done. Um, getting the bearings cut off is the hardest part of the job. If you can get that, get that done, then you're pretty much home free. Uh, you really don't want to cut into the axle shaft like I did, so try not to do that but overall that's the job for getting the rear axle wheel bearing and seal replaced on a 99 to 04 grand cherokee thanks for watching guys i'll see you on the next one